It's amazing what you can do if you put your mind to it. Like fly a drone, for example. I've come to an airstrip on the outskirts of Lisbon, Portugal, to see some groundbreaking technology in action. This is Nuno. He's controlling the drone that's whirring away above our heads using just his brainwaves, all thanks to the skull cap that is constantly monitoring his brain for activity. It's a slightly unsettling demo as the drone buzzes up in the sky, struggling valiantly against the wind. It's the first time this has been shown off in public, but if the researchers here get their way, it's the starting point of something much, much bigger. So this is quite literally some blue sky thinking. The researchers here say that this technology could eventually be used to power even commercial flights around the world, removing the need to even have a pilot. Now that may seem a little far-fetched, but didn't we once say that about driverless cars? It's where it's going, right? Uh, so uh, technology is evolving, the regulations are evolving, um, and so it's, it's both things are going at the same time and we're learning with the technology and the technology is learning from the possibilities. So it's obvious that it's going to happen. The question is not if, it's when. The prospect of travellers being happy to get onto a plane without a pilot is probably a step too far, at least for the next few generations. But the dream here at Drone Maker Tech Ever is that brain power technology could in the short term enable those with disabilities to control aircraft. That feels okay. No. Does it? Do I look good? good? Yeah, of course. So, but now we have to... Keen to see if the software was as simple as they claimed, back at the company's offices, I asked to try out a simulation. The premise is relatively simple. Once the aircraft is airborne, I can concentrate my efforts on making this ball go up to fly left or down to fly right. So normally people would have some training to yes. do this. And because I can notice that my line, as yeah. I'm talking especially, yes. is going up and down. Is that because I haven't sort of disciplined my brain yet? to yeah, control the yeah. ball steady. Pretty much now it's mostly random. What you eventually would be able to do was to, to control your intention to which way you would go. But I could not tell you how to do it. You will figure it out. It certainly wasn't easy. And I wondered what would happen if I fell asleep or had a seizure or simply just let my mind wander a bit. There are a lot of um, algorithms on board that prevent uh, bad things from happening, essentially. Also, if you, if you were using this in a real life scenario, you would have uh, a, a set of rules uh, for operating the system, you know, and for uh, people not to get tired, etc., etc., exactly like you have with any other type of system. A lot needs to change before this kind of system is used in anything other than highly controlled test runs in the Portuguese countryside. Researchers on this project say the technology is almost ready, but perhaps a bigger question is, are we? Dave Lee, BBC News, Lisbon.